systems and by the firms. Once again, welcome to Vipassana and also to the Orthodox Student Center. Father P.A. Philip and Dr. Varghi Sunnus have already mentioned about the mission work we have undertaken in recent years. In fact, I am really glad to share with you some of our activities. Vipassana has undertaken during the past one and a half years. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to meet one of the medical mission, uh, medical missionaries, one of the medical missionaries from the Forty World of Church, while I was working in the northern part of Kerala, it's a tribal place called Atapadi. His name was Tillos. I think Mr. Tillos was the coordinator of the mission, uh, of the medical mission at that time. And we met twice, once at uh, Karagam Ash, Karagam Medical Teaching Center, Karagam Hospital, and also at uh, St. Thomas Ash uh, in Atapadi. So I took Mr. Thirlos to various tribal villages in uh, Atapadi, and he participated in the food distribution program of the Kotoros Church. So at that time we had a food distribution program for the tribal children and we participated in that program. So from the from the circle laws, I came to know that the Kothi uh, Kothi Church has a vibrant mission in various parts of the world. And ten years ago, when I was working in Zambia at the Nicolau Economic Foundation, some of my Zambian colleagues told me that the Kothi Kothi Church has a very vibrant mission in Zambia, in rural Zambia. And one of the bishops from the Kothi Church was in charge of uh, the mission uh, in Zambia. So I was really amazed to hear all these stories of the great work the Kothi uh, Kothi Church uh, is doing. And my responsibility here is to briefly introduce the activities of the Vipassana Emotional Support Center. As Ajahn mentioned, the meaning of the word Vipassana is, very briefly, it is insight. This word came from the Buddhist tradition. And we have borrowed that word from the Buddhist tradition uh, to name this particular program. Father Philip and uh, Rubarish Kudus have already mentioned about the work we are doing as part of the Vipassana Emotional Support Center. We know that there are drastic changes happening around us in the name of so-called development. Information technology is changing the world drastically. Communication networks are widening. Recently, there was a report in the newspaper that India has achieved second position in the world in terms of number of cell phone users. Nearly one billion people own a cell phone in this country. The transport facility and later infrastructure are developing. Education facilities and healthcare facilities are developing. You can see multi-speciality hospitals in every nook and corner of this country. But the sad thing is that people are increasingly becoming vulnerable to diseases, lifestyle diseases, communicable diseases, and diseases which were never heard in the past. Not only physical health, but mental health also drastically diminishing. Suicide rate is increasing. In this country, more than 200,000 people commit suicide every year because of various reasons. Number of divorce cases are also increasing among the general population. 
So the increasing number of suicides, alcohol addiction, and family disintegration due to divorces are all indications of decreasing mental health among the population. So in Vipassana, evolved as an intervention for the church in this politic situation. We mainly focus on suicide prevention. This is one of the main objectives of Vipassana. Consoling people who are emotionally stressed is a mission of the church shown by Jesus Christ. The Holy Bible gives us so many examples of this mission of consolation. Jesus Christ showed us how the church should consider people who are in crisis, not only physical crisis, but emotional and spiritual crisis. At Vipassana, we have a telephone helpline dedicated for receiving calls from people who are emotionally stressed. There are about 20 volunteer counselors helping Vipassana to address the problems shared by people who are in crisis. So this service is open to the general public without any religious uh, or caste discrimination. So the calls coming to the helpline are being handled by volunteer counselors who are trained for this purpose. And some of the uh, esteemed Volunteer counselors working with Vipassana are present here. And I thank all of them for their uh, presence. So, the patient and compassionate approach of the volunteers will provide comfort to those who have emotional trouble. Assistance will be provided for the availability of expert service to those who need professional counseling or treatment for mental illness. So during the past one and a half years, we have received more than 1,000 calls from persons experiencing emotional problems. So there is also a facility to share the emotional problems face to face with the volunteer counselors. So those who get prayer appointment through the helpline can discuss their problems directly for any long time. Such face to face discussion is beneficial not only to solve problems of day-to-day -day life with better insight, but also to get more expert advice on various issues. These types of face-to-face -face discussions do not come under the purview of professional counseling, but this encourages the individuals to seek counseling. So in the present situation of people viewing professional counseling and psychological approaches with fear, such face-to-face -face discussions could be made use in creating awareness in individuals about its importance. Such interviews also help those, those who require professional counseling to contact suitable experts or organizations. It is combined influence of different factors led to personal, physiological, social, and psychological aspects that lead a person to commit suicide. One person who attempts suicide do not wish to die. Only when there is a feeling that there is no assistance of any sort to escape from severe mental agony, an individual resorts to kill oneself. So it is possible to prevent suicides to a certain extent if suitable emotional support is available to a person in crisis at a proper time. It is also a goal of Vipassana to take prayer caution to prevent suicides in the families in which already had such occurrences. The agony created by suicides remains very deep in families where suicides happen. Families may not be free from the blow created by suicides with passage of time to any extent. Disappointment and guilt feelings would make the family members victims of depression. There is greater possibility for suicides to be repeated in families where it has already occurred. Measures to prevent suicides such as, such as family meetings, meditation and counseling fall in the operation zone of Vipassana. We also protect awareness and training programs aimed at family empowerment and 
and suicide prevention. We organize such programs in cooperation with spiritual movements of the church, such as Mathapuri Veda Samaj. The secretary of the Mathapuri Samaj is, is here. Thanks, Madam, for your presence. Mathapuri Samaj is the women's movement of the church, the youth movement, the student movement, that is the NGO system. Senior citizen forums, voluntary organizations, and education institutions to ensure that there is more penetration of the information in the society. We focus on family empowerment, prevention of suicide, meaningful old age, effect of social media in family, responsible parenting, and holistic healing. And the details of such programs will be highlighted by. One of my colleagues, Professor Anima Varghese. And I am also about uh, enthusiasm. Dr. Joseph Varghese uh, will be explaining about it. And this is the nutshell of the activities we have undertaken under the Vipassana. So we are trying our best to have a network with various organizations and other church and religious denominations to widen our activities. Thank you for your. Uh, Patient listening. May God bless all of us in our action. Thank you, Dr. Sidney Perkin, for a neatly but crisp introduction about the activities of the person. May I invite Dr. Joseph P. Burgess to talk on mission among students. Dr. Joseph P. Burgess is Vice President.